That thing was scary. Never again. Never again. Hiya! It is 7 a.m. in the morning. We're about to catch a train to York for the very first time. So thank you to those of you who recommended it. And yeah, it is super rainy. Hopefully we can have some fun today even though it's raining. <laughs> Brenna Griffin didn't want to do that, but thank you for doing it. A while ago on my Instagram, I asked my followers where they think I should visit next here in the UK. And only one person told me that I should visit York, which honestly, if I would have known what I know now after this trip, I would have come back to York or came to York a long time ago. It's only a two hour train ride from where I stay at. And this train station looks familiar. And I'll tell you why later on in this vlog. A lot of Americans who've never even been here probably like that looks so familiar. And I'll tell you why later. But York is a really historic town that has so much to offer. One of the things that I was just set on as soon as we got there was going to a place called The Shambles um, and getting something to eat. And the food is probably one of the areas in which York is super underrated. We had breakfast at a place called the Blue Barbican, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, so feel free to correct me in the comments, but this breakfast was delicious. And there were so many other breakfast options and different cafes that we could have went to, but we went to this one because they did have like some type of American cuisine, and it did not disappoint. We just got our food, and oh my gosh, this stuff looks delicious. Take a look. I got the French toast spreader for that pancake. And I always get with cream instead of butter now because I've started trying that, but I'm also getting some syrup because I don't really want that. But oh my gosh, this stuff is so good! After breakfast, we headed to the Shambles, which was so unique. It's one of the oldest marketplaces and has so many different eclectic shops and places that have like little bites to eat and everything. Now, as I walked through the Shambles, I was wondering why it felt so familiar. And it sprung on me when I headed to the potion shop. The potion shop truly felt like something straight out of Harry Potter. And as we spoke to the different shopkeepers who did have Harry Potter influence, they confirmed, yes, part of us is like inspired by the movie or vice versa. And it was really interesting to go into the shop that must not be named because I'm not a Harry Potter fan. However, being in there, it truly made me feel like a wizard. <laughs> um, I love that they had everything from cloaks to wands and you just feel like you're in a piece of the movie. Going back to the train station, the reason why it feels so familiar and it looks familiar is because a portion of the very first Harry Potter movie was shot in York. So when Harry Potter is running through the wall trying to get to Hogwarts, that was actually shot in the York train station. And the clock from the movie is stored in one of the um, museums around York. And not all of the shops in the shambles are Harry Potter influenced or based on Harry Potter. For example, this Christmas shop that we visited. But all of the shops in York do do a great job of carrying out their theme thoroughly. From the music to the different little elements in the shop, you truly feel that experience. And I feel like that is what makes York so underrated. Oh my gosh, look at these birds. What are you at? Waddle waddle. Then it went away. Yeah, that's what I'm getting them. After walking off that delicious breakfast through the shambles, we hopped on a boat ride and learned about the architecture as well as the history of York. And being an American coming to the UK, I've mostly heard about London and it was really cool learning how historical York was because it's just a city that I've never really been exposed to. So this was a really cool experience. And if you continue watching, you'll see that I also learned about York in a different way. <laughs> Y'all, we 
just left this dang on haunted house that Brandon Griffin took me to and I almost had an anxiety attack. I did have an anxiety attack. The last part of it, I just couldn't even have my eyes open. It was so scary. It's called, what is it called? The dungeon, the York dungeon. Oh my gosh, that thing is so scary. If you go, like it gives you history, but it's like a haunted house with history lessons in it. That thing was scary. Never again, never again. If you can't tell, this was my biggest regret in York. <laughs> but they had so many attractions and attractions that fit all tastes. We just went to this one to burn off some time before dinner, which we had at Lock Finn, which was delicious. I love the service and we had seafood plates that, oh my goodness. I just, the food is something, I promise you, it's just so underrated. No one talks about how delicious the food is in New York. After we ate our seafood, we walked it off in the streets and we discovered the street food of York. And I promise you, we're going back strictly for the street food. <laughs> we are going back just for the food trucks. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe so you can catch me on the next one.